I have no words for what happened today. I'm extremely upset and infuriated with what went down. And judging by the screen, you guys probably know what I'm going to speak about. But yeah, this video is going to be for you guys who don't know what happened with Wall Street Bets and Robin Hood. And yeah, guys, the whole system is just corrupt and I'm extremely, extremely frustrated about that. So before I get into why I'm infuriated, I just want to give you guys a backstory first. If you guys have been on TikTok or any other social media recently, you guys have probably been hearing about the buzz around Wall Street Bets. And yeah, it's basically a subreddit where these people discuss stocks to invest in and They've been attacking short sellers recently and guys, I am not going to even hide the fact that I actually did buy some options according to stocks that were being shorted and yeah, I, I, I did lose a lot of money today and I still don't regret it because what happened today is just absolutely sad. So before I get into the details, you have to know what shorting a stock is and a short squeeze is. Shorting a stock is essentially buying a share at a higher price or sorry, selling a share at a higher price, then hoping it falls down and then buying back at a lower cost and you keep the profit in between. So for example, if a stock price is $100, you short the stock for $100. So you sell it at $100. You hope that it falls down to 80, then you buy back and you keep the $20 profit in between. And yeah. A lot of hedge funds tend to short companies and shorting is very toxic for the community because it can drive share prices down and even force companies into bankruptcy. So people on the Wall Street Bets forum actually started to buy into companies that are being heavily shorted by these hedge funds and essentially all the retail investors when they started purchasing shares on their own decision, it started to create something called a short squeeze. And a short squeeze is essentially when the short sellers aka hedge funds need to buy back the shares because they're getting margin called and yeah that caused stock prices like game stock to go from 35 dollars per share all the way to 347 per share i think it was higher than that it was like 440 at one point and i do want to add in the fact that what's happening on wall street bets is completely legal it's essentially people coming together on an online forum and discussing what stocks they're going to be purchasing which is not illegal at all at all it's just freedom of speech and this actually happens with a lot of hedge funds as well and it's called idea dinners they come and get together in a dinner and talk about what stocks they're going to invest in so there's just keep in mind that there's nothing wrong with doing this and when all these hedge funds were getting squeezed out of their positions by a bunch of Wall Street bets traders and take it in, hedge funds are always constantly manipulating the market, shorting them, putting out fake news and pumping stocks. They're always doing this. But when a bunch of retail investors come back and fight back, guess what Robinhood does and, and other exchanges, not just Robinhood. They restrict the buying of the shares of those companies that Wall Street Bets was talking about, like AMC, GME, Nokia. Guys, this is just completely insane. I was absolutely infuriated when I found out the fact that Robinhood was literally restricting trades of AMC and GME. You could literally sell your shares, but you couldn't buy. Robinhood would say you can't buy this share because it's too risky. Guys, I don't know about you, but that sounds like market manipulation to me. So you're telling me we can sell shares and give your hedge fund buddies at Citadel all this money from shorting stocks, but we can't purchase stocks and make money on our call options. So many people got wiped. All my friends lost so much money on, on these trades just because of call options. Guys, I don't know about you, but this, this just screams illegal to me. And it's not only me that's speaking out. Major corruption was shown in our system today, and they are not going to get away with it. These hedge funds and these financial institutions that are robbing people of money are not going to get away from it. This, this whole situation is bringing us retail investors together, no matter if you're Republican, conservative, liberal, Democrat, it doesn't matter. We're all getting together on this one. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was tweeting about it. Ted Cruz was tweeting about it. Even Elon Musk was tweeting about it. He agreed with ocasio cortez about what she said on instagram and he also said how that how short selling is extremely detrimental to not only the retail investors but even the companies themselves even chamath palapatia the ceo of social capital has spoken about this and he's clearly in favor of the people at wall street bets and yeah guys everybody knows that there's a lot of corruption and it's 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 been completely obvious today 
This is alleged, but Justin Can said that Citadel reloaded their shorts on GME before telling Robinhood to suspend the trading of GME and other stocks. Guys, this is extreme corruption, and we have a lot of people on our side. And yeah, this is the last thing I'm going to talk about in this video. However, I do want you guys to comment down below what you think and what we need to do. Because there's clearly an issue and this needs to be fixed. Whether it be a decentralized exchange where we can trade stocks, just something that's away from the system.